Hi, in this video we'll demonstrate some of the file management features of Dynosia Free Dino software. So probably the easiest thing, thing to do is we've got some traces here now, but we'll go into the, what we call the file manager to load a new trace. So one way of easily accessing that, let's say I want to load something into here, which is trace set 4. We just click on that, that opens up the file explorer, and this is our file management system. So we can select, um, perhaps I'll select that run there, I get to preview it, and if I choose to load it up, because I'm happy with that, I just right click and it transfers across. So now we have a trace loaded as number four here. You can turn that on and off quite easily. We can analyze data relevant to that trace or any other trace for that matter. So to choose that run, we went into a file explorer, but we can also access this file explorer from the view menu at any time, or really control F is the quickest way. So let's open up that file explorer again and look at some of the features. So what we have here is we have a list of all the runs that have been recorded in the samples folder. So here we can choose other drives on the computer or other folders. So there's nothing in the main Dynertia Free folder. In the sample folder here, I have all my runs, which I can view. So maybe I choose but to create a new folder, perhaps for a new customer. That's fairly easy to do. With this little arrow here, we can create a new folder name. Um, perhaps we might may name it um, Bob's Cart or we can name it after an engine or any particular thing that we like. We can save that now to create a new folder or generally speaking, you'll be using this one with the green triangle. And that means we'll create a folder, but we'll make it the default path. So whenever we do any testing in the future, it will, that will be the location that the runs are saved and we tell, tell it otherwise. So now we've created a folder called Bob's Cart. Bob's Cart has nothing saved in it at the moment, but it is the default folder. If I choose to go back and make samples my default folder, wherever you see that green button, it creates the folder at default. So there, we've created Bob's Cart. So any testing, I'll make it default again, any testing I do now will be saved straight into all the runs going to Bob's cart. We can also from here delete uh, files or folders as well. Just a little tip there, but, so if we pick one up, no program likes to have folders or files deleted when it's accessing them. So you might find if you go to remove a delete a folder or file, it may give you a little warning to say that it's being in use by Donertia Free. Um, you can also um, delete folders using just the standard Windows File Explorer. So you can just go view your files, view the folder and delete them. There's no problem with doing that at all, but you should shut down the program first. No, no program likes having files deleted when it's trying to use them. So shut down Dynertia free if you're gonna go into Windows and delete them that way. Otherwise use these functions here. So it's pretty straightforward. And that little arrow is the secret to it all. We can also search for files on the computer. So this function here allows me to, to view all the files that may be hidden in all of these subfolders and displays them. I can also click on them and get some information. And I can also choose from here 
and make a default folder path as well with the green arrow icon here. So that's it. It's quite straightforward to, um, to manage and control our folders. We can also lock folders as well so that they can't be overwritten. So if we've created one and have particular runs that we, we wish to keep, we can do that. Okay, well, thank you very much for um, viewing this video. And next time we'll look at a few more features in another area of Donertia Free Software. Thank you.